Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China last week. First, let's start with China's announcement to land astronauts on the moon before 2030. In just over a month, Chinese officials have twice expressed their confidence in this goal. In April 2022, the chief designer of China's lunar exploration program stated that before 2030, Chinese astronauts will surely leave their footprints on the moon. Well, to achieve this, China needs first to construct a basic lunar research station. This plan involves several key steps, including collecting lunar samples from the moon's far side in 2024, exploring resources in the lunar south pole in 2026, and establishing a basic international lunar research station by 2028. As China progresses towards its goal, NASA is also focused on moon exploration, with plans to send astronauts to the moon's south pole by the end of 2025. The goal is to explore permanently shadowed craters in this region, which are believed to be rich in frozen water. Are we seeing a competition or maybe some collaboration in finding answers to the mystery of the moon? While moving on, let's take a look at this flexible solar panel. A team of scientists from the University of Chinese Academy of Science in Beijing have developed a new technique of creating flexible solar cells from silicon wafers that can be folded and rolled like paper. Normally, the solar panels we see are rigid and heavy glass sheets. The team made the silicon solar cells flexible by dulling the sharp edges of the surface of the silicon wafers, which are prone to form cracks. This allows the wafer to bend without breaking. Then they added thin layers of different materials to the flexible wafers to make the actual solar cells. The cells can be rolled into a cylinder as small as 4 cm wide without losing power. Even after being bent, heated, and exposed to airflow, the cell retained most of their ability to generate electricity. These flexible solar cells have potential applications in photovoltaic integrated into buildings and wearable electronics as they are lightweight, shockproof, and self-powered. The scientists hope their technique will pave the way for large-scale production of flexible silicon solar cells, ultimately reducing solar energy's cost and a shift towards cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. Another breakthrough on the manufacturing side is that recently the Chinese Academy of Science has showcased two major innovations, the Xiangshan chip and the Aolai operating system. As you may be aware of, computer chip designs have been expensive and hard to license. Global chip designers such as Intel have kept their blueprints a secret, so we have to buy manufactured chips directly or pay for a customized design. Developing open-source chip is an effective way to address this issue. They are designed to be shared freely and modified by anyone whose design plans and source code are publicly available. And of course, this makes them more transparent, secure, and accessible. For China, developing open-source chips is an effective way to address global chip supply chain security and offer technological benefits to the world. Now, moving on to the world of Minecraft. For those who are not familiar with the game, it is a sandbox game, and the player can explore and construct in an open world. And Minecraft presents AI agents with a fascinating puzzle known as the Moravix Paradox. Tasks that are challenging for humans, such as chess, are relatively simple for AI, whereas tasks typically easy for humans, like interacting with and making decisions in an open world environment like Minecraft, prove to be monumental challenges for AI. Chinese researchers from Tsinghua University and the Chinese Academy of Science have developed a new AI agent called Ghost in Minecraft, GITM. It has successfully overcome this paradox, achieving a significant breakthrough in a complex, lifelike setting. It is a generally capable agent which can tackle any task without specific training or instruction. It achieves this capacity using a large language model, which means it possesses an extensive understanding of words and common sense. 
GITM communicates with you through natural language and comprehends your desired outcomes. It also used text-based knowledge and memory to store and retrieve useful information such as recipes, locations, and goals. The researchers tested GITM on a popular task in Minecraft called Obtain Diamond, where the agent has to find and mine a diamond. This is a challenging task because diamonds are rare and deep on the ground, and the agent has to survive various dangers such as lava, monsters, and hunger. Previous reinforcement learning method only achieved a success rate of around 20%, meaning that they failed 4 out of 5 times. GITM, on the other hand, achieved a 67.5% success rate, which means it succeeded 2 out of 3 times. And not just diamonds, but everything else as well. It can craft tools, weapons and armor, build shelters and farms, and even tame animals. The meaning of GITM goes beyond computer games, of course. It represents the later version of generally capable agents that can explore and interact with the environment, though virtual, formulate strategies, then execute them all by themselves. Imagine that one day such GCA could enter our physical world through sensors and smart devices, autonomously solving real-world problems for us. More on the topic of learning, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, has decided to establish a Category 1 Institute for STEM Education in Shanghai. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Graduates in STEM's field are in high demand globally, and many countries want to increase STEM enrollment to support key growth industries like medtech, digital services, mobility, and computer science. And according to the World Economic Forum 2016, China already has 4.7 million STEM graduates. They are essential for infrastructure development, technological progress, and economic growth. China has invested heavily in building its STEM workforce and becoming a leader in artificial intelligence, biotechnology, aerospace, and electronic vehicles. The new UNESCO Institute will help China share its STEM education experiences with other developing countries and hopefully make valuable contribution to strengthening STEM education worldwide. And that's all for today's Threshold. As always, please let us know if you like this new selection on science and technology in China, and we will do more in the future. Bye!